It was 2005, and I was 15. There's a place called Edenderry Village in Belfast. It's a very old place. My ex-girlfriend lived in the oldest terraced houses. She was out at a friend's. I knew she had a free house as her mother and brother were out, so I thought I'd go to her house and wait for her to return. Her front door was locked, so I climbed in the back window of the top bedroom. There was the toilet roof you could climb on to access this window. So I just waited around in her bedroom on the top floor. I'd say a few hours or so. I played on the guitar, just waiting. I took a nap and was awakened to all this banging noise coming from downstairs. A complete ruckus. I just panicked but listened until it stopped abruptly. Think I waited for a good ten minutes or so before I plucked up the courage to check it out downstairs. I went downstairs and as I entered the living room I didn't see anything or anyone. I checked the kitchen and bathroom, nothing. So I went back upstairs. I assumed it was something falling over, but it did sound like a person throwing things about. I was very freaked out. I'd say it was about another hour or so, and I heard banging noises again. Then I heard the door to the hallway staircase open. Then I heard heavy footsteps on the stairs. They stopped halfway up. I called out my girlfriend's name. No response. So I freaked out, jumped into the top bunk bed and hid under the blankets, lying flat on my back with my eyes peeking out. The footsteps moved on till they stopped outside the bedroom door, which was shut. I think whoever was there stood outside for five or ten minutes until they or it kicked it open. I mean it was some bloody force that door got. I felt this weird, dark, heavy presence in the room, like hate and fear. Like some energy, I felt sick. I then remember turning around to face the wall. I said to myself, either it's my girlfriend's mum or a housebreaker. When they get close, I will go boo or something. I know it sounds stupid, but I was scared and only 15. Then I heard whoever it was walk over to the bunk bed. They started to breathe like a creepy low dog growl noise or something. Hard to explain. It was not natural. It was as creepy as fuck. Then it started to approach right beside me and pushed the bed back and forth. I could feel like this really weird energy, like fear radiating from whatever it was. I've never felt anything like that. It then started to pull my blankets off. They viciously swiped them off and I was like, fuck it, say boo or something. As I turned around to do so, I was greeted by an eight foot figure. Pure black, it was thin, had a demon smoky like body and red eyes like coal in a fire. Pure black, like a black hole. This is weird to say, but it wasn't a normal shade of black. It was hard to explain. It was giving off fear. I tried to scream and pull myself up. As I got halfway up and was screaming, it stopped me screaming. I don't know how. It was like some force came over me. It then slammed me back down on the bed. I felt my life was being took. I could feel my energy draining. It was like a crazy battle. I was fighting for my life. I started to ask God for help as I was near dying. I'm not a religious person, so this was like the only thing I knew to say. Also, it was doing some telepathic communication as I was dying, like implanting images to scare me even more. It did speak, but I could not understand it. As it let go, I pulled myself up and stood on the bed. It stood there watching me. It was looking confused as to how I had done what I just did. It then slowly faded like wispy smoke. I ran downstairs. I was like, I'm having a mental breakdown. I waited for my girlfriend, but she messaged saying that she was staying at a friend's for the night. Her mum came back later on at about 3am. I waited outside the whole time. She was like, what the f*** are you doing here and why are you outside? I explained to her my situation. She said she had experienced stuff in the house too, but not what I had seen. Anyways, I think it was a shadow person or a hat man. I swear this is true, no drugs and it's not sleep paralysis, as I was fully awake. Supposedly the area is really haunted. Other neighbours experience stuff. 
and my girlfriend and her mum did play with Ouija boards in that house. <laughs> 